Here we are, back in Room EQ Wizard for the second of the three steps we need to take to get our measurement. The first step was the calibration of the sound card. Now we're going to check our levels and settings. We're also going to go into the Mic Meter tab of settings. We turned off C-weighted SPL meter. One option is to use the microphone of your SPL meter as your input device but the frequency response of the Radio Shack that I use is very limited. So I'm using a DPA4061 mic and I've created a calibration file and loaded it here on the mic meter page. Then we go back to the sound card page. Since we're going to check levels for a full range speaker, we're going to switch to the full range to the main speaker levels. Now as uh, these are these are more or less default settings this one is turned down from the default which is usually 0.5 but on my system that makes this the test very loud at startup so I turn it down uh, to start up so I don't get surprised by a blast then uh, when we press check levels like most things here in Rumi Q wizard we get a very informative help file here it tells us that we're going to try to get 75 dB in the room with our 12 dB output. We'll, we'll get the room level by adjusting the volume of our speakers, our amplifiers, our output section. Then we also want to control the input so that the input level is around 18 dB. This gives us uh, a good signal to noise ratio without clipping. And we'll control that by adjusting the input of the mic preamp. So there's the signal. The first thing we want to do is check with our sound pressure level meter. It's a little low, so I need to run the, the output volume up. Okay, that brings us to the uh, 75 dB at the listening position. So now we'll adjust the mic preamp to get minus 18 dB. Looks good. Finish. Finish turns off the noise and uh, we can close this settings panel and we're done with setting levels in Room EQ Wizard.